And welcome back. This is Bella Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is White Shadow. White Shadow is ranked 35th in his Platinum Division with 692 points, 39 wins, and 28 losses. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Blue Terran in the North e Northwest up against White Shadow. White Shadow is the Red Protoss player. In the Northeast, the map is Backwater Gulch? Yes, it's another new map here. But once again, these are just maps that the ladder has given me. Holy crap, look at that APM. Once again. Eh? Eh. It's, it, it does nothing for you. It does nothing. It, it just makes that number go up. That's all it does. But yes, Backwater Gulf, let's take a look at it. It's got quite a big base here, I must say. A pretty narrow ramp here, but the expansion is very nicely defended as long as these rocks and these rocks stay up. There is a huge ramp here, huge ramp, but if you can get your forces to hang out here, or even here, uh, then it should be very well defended as long as you have something to keep in sight here. Um, in terms of high yield, there are two high yield expansions in the middle, and I don't, and I believe that is it. Yes. So um, pretty much each base will have three, three little bases here. Each spawning location has, of course, the main base, the natural, and then over here will be your third base. Um, as you can see, with our spawning locations, my third base is very near my opponent's natural. He is, oh, I hate when they do this. I can't say I blame him, but I just hate it. He's coming in to harass my FCD. And really, all he's doing is delaying the inevitable. That barracks will finish. I don't know if you guys know this, but every single one of my strategies revolves around that first barracks getting put up. So it will finish. I do have the refinery up and running. Sabernax core is on the way for my opponent. Uh, he does have one gateway followed by one pylon, Cybernex core, and another pylon. Looks like that second pylon is going to finish first. I'm trying to move all the way around the base, trying to get some scouting done, just trying to be, well, annoying, but not as annoying as he was. Good lord. He is going for the second gas. It looks like I am going to be able to spot that. So I do know that he's going to be going for a relatively techy build. He is not going to be going for any kind of early push with zealots and stalkers. He will at least be getting sentries out. There's uh, no other reason to be getting gas that early. He does have a second gateway on the way. That's still pretty standard. That doesn't really tell me all that much. So many of the Protoss units come out of the gateway. Of course, you got zealots, stalkers, sentries. High Templars, Dark Templars, I think that's it. Yes, that's it. But so much, there's so many strategies using these five, using those five units there. And of course, Marines, Marauders, your standard for Terran. Reapers and Ghosts you don't see very often, especially Reapers since they got nerfed. I have, I have not seen a Reaper in a serious 1v1 game in a long time. Ghosts you see from time to time, especially against Protoss players, especially if they go for a big ball, or if they go for High Templars, they have that EMP, um, what is it called? EMP round. Uh, the EMP ability will drain all their shields and all their energy in terms of the magic casting. I still call it magic. It's not magic in this game. It's just energy. I'm so used... Well, the first real-time strategy game I played was Warcraft 2, so I'm still used to calling everything magic. Um, in fact, I still remember the the code for the cheat for magic in Stark in uh, Warcraft 2 was uh, every little thing she does. And that will give you infinite magic. Get it? Every little thing she does is magic. Oh, come on, you guys get that. You don't want to admit it, but you got it. Stim pack and concussive shells are on the way for me. I, I could not, when it moved, I lost its name in the fray. 
three racks is fully completed and as you can see my minerals and gas are way down because of it we are going to be seeing an immortal come out for him i pretty much scan at a very nice time here i must commend myself on that although the observer is coming into my base i did see his entire army along with his production facilities i of course knew about that first warp gate up there so i know that he's on three gate robo and immortals are coming out i did not know that immortals were coming out but i had the feeling because i have not seen a player get a robotics facility up that early and then stick with observers so i assumed that immortals were on the way um i don't really have a set counter two immortals except to focus them down whenever I see them just like siege tanks uh, there's not really like oh well I can obviously go in with marines just mass marines although that is a good strategy they will die very quickly as you can see they do they only have 45 health right now combat shield will raise that to 55 but these guys still do 20 damage to light that is a lot so three shots the marines Three shots, the Marauders. Uh, give or take, you know, pick your poison. Marines are cheaper, that's pretty much the reason that people say that Marines will be the counter to Immortals. So I'm going for my first push of the game here. Once again, focusing down the sentries first. The Immortals were out of position, so I did not have to focus them down. I get one shot, one finish before the uh, Finally turns around and starts shooting. Folks him down the immortals once again, and there they go. And therefore, I think it's usually the boss count. Trying to take out the last zealot, but I was unable to do it. Those stalkers were too meaty for me. He looks like he was going to move in, but then he saw my marines and marauders come out there uh, with that observer, so he decided to back off. And it looks like he's just going to be securing. Um, this little secondary ramp here uh, that is vital to getting that expansion it looks like that is exactly what he's doing there more immortals on the way it looks like that's it so far nothing no no probes that is enough but since he's going for an expansion I would like to see more out of him uh, I did drop a scan a uh, little bit badly placed I would love to see seen that right there that way you can see the expansion and his army once again, the ramp. You want to you wanna always try to focus if you're thinking about pushing back in, which I kind of was. You know, I don't have that big of an army, but I was thinking, you know, if he was unable to produce his army back up, I want to move in now. So I should have stayed here, spawned the small army. Uh, it would not have been enough. It would have been too much for me to move in right now. As you can see, he has the lead in the army count, mostly due to gas, and what a lead in gas he has. These guys are very gas-heavy. What is it? Yeah, 150 minerals, 100 gas. Uh, of course, these guys are 250, 100. These guys are very, very expensive. That's why I focus them down. Plus, they do a lot of damage. You always want to hit the guy with the biggest hammer first. Haven't you learned anything from my RPG Let's Plays? You guys don't watch those. I know. Whatever. An observer is still inside my base. And I think that I saw it, but I, I just really... Yeah, I didn't really care that much, I guess, this game. You really want to take that out. I do have the engineering bay up. Uh, fourth and fifth barracks are on the way. The observer cannot see that right now. I don't know if I'm, if I'm actually keeping an eye on it. Uh, we are seeing a small transfer right now. Looks like just two probes at that point. Like, why even bother? He did transfer a couple earlier than that. Um, so he is uh, starting to get that second base up and running. I still have the lead in the harvesters and, of course, the minerals. Uh, thanks to my music, he does have the lead in the gas because I am not going for a, sec uh, a third gas right now. He is. He's bunching his army together and now separating them. Doing a little bit of micro, making sure the, the zealots are out in front. That is important if you're a Protoss player. The last thing you want to do is have the immortals blocking the zealots' ways. And trust me, it can happen if you're not paying attention. 
so I'm tr looks like I'm trying to move up here. This is not the best spot to stop. If there, if he had Colossus, he could start doing damage right there, especially with the observer, the observer giving him sight. So here is where I obviously spot the observer. The last thing you want to do is follow his. So I drop this thing and take it out. Well, and I'm starting to do damage on everything here. I have still quite a few other uh, here. Take out his entire army, it looks like. Yes, I did. Uh, so he's down to just where he should be here. And I'm going down trying to take out the expansion. I didn't realize that this was literally all he had. He does have a Colossus out on the field now. And he should be able to get some micro guns out with his cliff. Uh, as you can see, he's doing a good job. But then I dropped his hand. To just let the Colossus die. I'm going for the expansion once again, even though he has absolutely no army. He is going for just Stalkers and one Zealot, it looks like. Those Stalkers are getting some work done, so I'm going to back off and then go over here, finish off the expansion. I don't really care about the refineries right now or the assimilators, whatever they're called. I'm uh, just moving down here, trying to wait for reinforcements, which are on the way. Once again, they are late because I am scared of a proxy pylon that does not exist. I have a missile turret up inside my base. It looks like I'm... Oh, I set these guys to a rally point uh, that these guys were not set to follow. So here we go, bunching back up, putting the guys with the most health out of the front. Taking out everything that he's got, now focusing on the pylon, PGG, and there's the game. And that's the game, so here we are, new map. I like this map, I must say. It has quite a few different features on it that is going to lead to many different strategies. As you saw, that Colossus right there, that is a great strategy. And of course, Siege Tanks will do a very similar uh, thing with that cliff there. I like this expansion even though it, it is uh, rather vulnerable. There are three entrances technically into the expansion, uh, but two of them are guarded by rocks. Yeah, I like this map, I like this map. Uh, what was it called again? Backwater Gulch, I believe. We should be seeing more of it later. So I hope you guys enjoyed this game. I hope you laughed. I hope you learned. Not to do that. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.